<coughs> so let's go again. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anj, and you're watching Art by Anj Sony. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw hyperrealistic sketch of ears step by step. First point that I'm going to cover up is how to draw the outlines of ears. Second point that I'm going to cover up is how to shade in ears. Third point, how you can practice the shading and outlining process of the ears. So yeah guys, without wasting any time, let's straight get in this video. I'm using a 4 wedge pencil for making the outlines. First I'm making a line and then I'm making an oval. They will help me to mark the perfect proportions of the ears. That's a really great method for drawing ears. This will really help you to draw perfect arcs, perfect circles. You just have to observe your photograph, the details, the shapes that are in the photograph. Because many type of beginners are facing difficulties drawing ears. As you can see, I made some of the mistakes in the lower part so i'm recreating the lower part so do not be afraid while creating and erasing i am using an hb pencil for shading up the base layer after shading the base layer you will get the right idea way of to add the darker areas and the lighter areas i'm using a dry makeup brush that you can get from any type of cosmetic shops for blending the base layer and now I'm using a 0.5 mechanical pencil with 4B lead for darkening the areas. You have to just observe your photograph, the darker areas and the lighter areas and you have to draw. And if you are a beginner and you don't know how to draw eyes, hairs, lips, ears, so you can check out the tutorials that I have uploaded on my YouTube channel. I'm just observing the darker areas and the lighter areas. When I am darkening the areas, I'm blending them from the edges that they will look a contrast with the base layer. First, I will shade the whole ear with the help of 0.5 mechanical pencil that contains 4B lead. And after shading, I will blend this artwork. I am using an HB graphite pencil for blending the darker areas with the lighter areas and shading the medium tones of the ears. Now I am using a dry makeup brush for blending the shading. Now I'm using a blending stump for blending the shading from the edges because blending the shading from the edges with the help of blending stump, it makes a contrast and your artwork will look realistic. You can also blend the tiny small areas with the help of blending some that you can not blend with the help of a blending brush. Now I'm using a Kennedy eraser for adding the highlighted areas because adding the highlights make your artwork really really realistic. And I'm blending the highlights from the edges as I told you in every video it is a really great technique to make your artwork realistic because it makes a contrast between your shading and the highlights and that's a used and recommended technique they you can apply this technique in your artwork because it gives the hyper realism and now i'm adding the shadows behind with the help of a normal blending stump and as you can see my artwork is finally looking realistic and i'm adding some of the final touches and the highlights
Now I am using a 2 way pencil and adding some more darkness in the background to make it more realistic. Now I am gonna make a different angle of her ear. I am using the same techniques and same materials for making a different angle of her ear. First I am starting with the oval and line and now I am gonna make the shape of the ear. And now I'm rubbing the markings and all that. And I'm darkening up the outlines because they were not visible when I shade the base layer. And now I'm using an HB pencil for shading the base layer. Just have to apply the same techniques, the same things that I told you. First, I have already shaded the base layer. Second, I have blended the base layer. And the third technique that I'm doing now I am adding the dark areas with the help of 0.5 mechanical pencil that contains and 4B lead. As you can see, you just have to observe your photograph, you just have to see the details, you just have to see the darker and the lighter areas and you have to blend. That's not a difficult part for drawing ear. You just have to observe the things that are placed on the photograph. It all depends on your practice and how do you improve. If you will practice, you will definitely improve and if you will not practice, you will not improve. Because just seeing the video and not following the steps that I am teaching you will not help you in any case. If you are working in art or any type of other field, if you will not practice, that will not improve your skills. So you have to practice daily and daily of art. Now I'm gonna draw a different angle of a ear as you can see I am shading up with the base layer and I'm observing the photograph and now I'm blending the base layer and after blending the base layer I'm gonna darken up the outlines and add the darker areas in the artwork. There are only few steps that you have to follow. First you have to add the base layer, second you have to blend the base layer, third you have to add the darker areas. Fourth, you have to blend the darker areas. The last step that you have to do, you have to add the highlights and observe the details that are in the photograph. If you will follow some of these steps, you will definitely come on hyperrealism sketches. Because not practicing your skills and the things will not help you to improve. And you will not grow in art. Because art only needs practice and practice. The much you will practice, the much you will improve. So practice daily your art skills. Allowing you to practice like this daily so you can take a blank page. It will take you only 5 minutes. You have to take a blank page. You have to take a ballpoint pen or a normal graphite pencil. You just have to make a shape and you have to hatch in the shape you have to do cross hatching and hatching so that it will help you to observe the darker areas and the lighter areas also and from this your outline process will be also improved so yeah guys these were some tips that i want to teach you and now for some more improvement in your artwork i will show you with time lapse how i drew the ear so enjoy the time lapse.
yeah guys i hope you have understand all the things the process that i want to teach you through this video and this video will definitely help your sketching process it will definitely improve your ea shading ea drawing the difficulties that we will face will no not last longer if you apply the techniques and the things that i have taught you in this video so yeah guys there are few points that you have to follow in every artwork first you have to add the base layer second you have to blend the base layer third you have to add the darker areas fourth you have to blend the darker areas and all the stuff that you have just shaded and fifth step that you have to do is adding the highlighted areas and blending them from the edges and the last step that you have to do you have to observe the details from the photograph the reference that you are having so if you will follow these points you can draw in hyperrealism so yeah guys these were the points these were the techniques that i want to i want to teach you in this video and i hope this video will definitely help you and if you want more tutorials like this you can comment down below and dm me on instagram if you not follow me on instagram this is my instagram id you can follow me on instagram this is my facebook id you can also follow me on facebook and if you want to order commission works to me so you can contact to my gmail all the ids and the gmail are written in description so yeah guys that was all in this video we will meet in the next video till then bye bye <laughs>